what's up welcome back to my channel I know it's been a minute mm, yeah but um if you're new here hi my name is Sasha welcome to my channel I'm just a person trying to figure out how to be that girl a boss girl while still trying to figure out how to be in touch with my feelings be a great wife be a good friend a leader a Christ follower and a really kind person so if you're in the same stage as I am in life make sure you guys subscribe or if we're not make sure you subscribe I'm sure we'll pass or cross pass you know sometime so go ahead and hit that red button the video idea for today which is what to do when you're overwhelmed so I have like three tips I think three tips for anybody who is feeling overwhelmed at the moment I know a little bit about that you know with the holidays coming up we can tend to feel overwhelmed or finals and things like that so I think uh, hopefully these three tips help you guys out okay guys hopefully this is you know how my videos go sometimes they be drawn out for no reason so I wrote down some bullet points and we should get through it quickly okay I only have three tips tip number one is set boundaries Woo! a lot of people do not like this word or some people are like afraid of this word but this word is so important boundaries we need to set boundaries for ourselves and for others a lot of the times we don't realize that we are doing too much and not really listening to our bodies so we need to make sure that we have alone time that we have a time frame when people can call us or contact you for example um, I feel like it's very important and sometimes I need to do this too uh, more or slash continue to do it and keep up with it because like I'm I think I'm pretty good at setting boundaries I think I'm really um, like stern about it but then sometimes I fall off because you know you want to help people be helpful but not setting boundaries can cause you to do or say yes to too many things which will cause you to become overwhelmed because then you have too much on your plate and you're like carrying it like this so yeah that is my first tip set boundaries don't be afraid to um, people who love you will respect that boundary and um, work around it and if they can't respect your boundary then sorry to say maybe they shouldn't be in your life sorry yeah so tip number two tip number two is one of my favorite tips it's to plan um, as you guys know I'm a heavy planner um, I love being organized and making sure that I have dates written down in my planner I think having a clear plan on what do you want to do or uh, what you need to do is very very helpful um, I think having it daily like a to-do list is also very helpful things may not always go as planned but for the most part it gives me a peace of mind knowing that I do have some sort of a plan set in play um, some people not, may not feel this way but like I said take the tips if you want if not hey making to-do lists like I said help me daily because I was in school um, still working at my old job while working at my new job and still like serving in other parts of my church and um, it got a little bit overwhelming to keep up with everything so having a to-do list for like each specific area helped so much because I forget that I need to do something especially for like the new job or even the you know old job current yeah whatever old job it got a little confusing and like forgetful whatever but um, yeah so I use sticky notes on my laptop that have to-do lists or like YouTube sticky notes or things like that that I could have that I know like these are my to-do list I have it for my new job um, I had it for school I also have a to-do list on my phone uh, I, found, I saw this video from this girl I watch she um, showed how to have the to-do list like for reminders on your phone like as a widget and I also have my planner for like you know dates and things it's kind of like a to-do list like you know your dates or whatever definitely try to do a to-do list if you feel like you're forgetting things I think it's really helpful and I also recommend getting a planner specifically a happy planner that's my favorite type of planner I almost always tell everybody to get a happy planner because it's um they're super cute and they're also customizable so shout out to happy planner love them sponsor me okay and tip number three is a very very important tip and that is to rest so this one I really don't do enough um, rest is so important rest is vital for better mental health increase it increases concentration and memory and healthier immune system it reduces stress it improves your mood and it even helps your metabolism 
I really need to get out of the mindset of I'll sleep when I'm dead because I don't know like there was this phase of everybody talking about I'll sleep when I'm dead I'll sleep when I'm dead that's not good that's not good um at all I tend to burn out so getting rest is very very important um when you're tired everything also seems bigger than it may actually seem um everything is heightened and you're more sensitive I feel like so I think rest is a big 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 tip and um definitely need to do that more so yeah guys being overwhelmed is not fun hopefully these tips will help you if you have any other tips please leave them in the comments down below let's help each other out let's get all the tips all the info put them in the comments down below if i miss anything or if you have any personal tips let me know um make sure you guys are subscribed hit the red button it's free Follow me on my Instagram. Um, I might be making a Twitter, so if that's made, it'll be linked down below. Follow me on that too. But it's so good. It feels so good to be back. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm not sure what my next video would be. I feel like it might be a haul. I went shopping for a bunch of house stuff, and those videos are coming really soon, so I'm super excited about that. But stay tuned, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.